हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग टाइप फोर आइसोपेरीमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम्स वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टिल नाउ वी आर डन विद टाइप थ्री दैट इज रेले रिट्स मेथड नाउ यू स्टार्टिंग विद टाइप नंबर फोर आइसोपेरीमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज आइसोपेरीमेट्रिक प्रॉब्लम टिल नाउ फ्रेंड्स इट इज आस्ट टू इवेल्युएट x1 to x2 and the functional was given to us this was our aim till now and this functional was in terms of x y and y dash what is the difference in this particular type here friends again this integration will be provided and here additional term there will be a condition there will be a constraint given to us let's name it as g this is the difference this is the additional part first of all whenever we get this type of problem first of all you need to find it out h and what is that h this h you going to get it from f plus lambda g this is the difference this is also called lagrange's first of all find it out f plus lambda g and name it as h this h or f plus lambda g will be in terms of x y or y dash we are ready with the new functional that is h initially it was f we got h for solving h we need to have euler's equation and the equation is exactly same as for that was for f by euler's equation this is the only difference f you convert it into h rest of the story will remain same as type 1 if you remember the first equation of eulers that was do f upon do y minus d by dx do f upon do y dash is equal to 0 here also it will remain same but f will be replaced by h that is do h upon do y minus d by dx of do h upon do y dash equal to 0 this is equation number 1 what is equation number 2 do f upon do x do h upon do x minus d by dx f minus h minus y dash do f upon do h upon do y dash equal to 0 these are the two equations remember there are three special cases also the same will be here also let's discuss the cases this functional that is h will be independent to y x and y dash let's consider first h is independent of y therefore do h upon do y equal to 0 let us put in equation number 1 equation number 1 is do h upon do y minus d by dx do h upon do y dash is equal to 0 let us substitute here therefore minus d by dx the same way that we did in type 1 exactly same story only f is replaced by h do h upon do y dash this minus d by dx will go that side and will become c this is equation number 3 next let's consider h is independent of y dash therefore do h upon do y dash equal to 0 again equation number 1 is do h upon do y minus d by dx do h upon do y dash equal to 0 do h upon do y dash is 0 let us put here therefore do h upon do y equal to 0 this is the fourth one and finally h is independent of x therefore do h upon do x equal to 0 do h upon do x is there only in equation number 2 equation number 2 is do h upon do x minus d by dx h minus y dash do h upon do y dash equal to 0 let us substitute here therefore minus d by dx 
एच माइनस वाई डैश डो एच अपॉन डो वाई डैश इक्वल टू जीरो दिस माइनस डी वाई डी एक्स विल गो दैट साइड एंड विल बिकम सी देर फोर दिस इज द लास्ट एंड फाइनल इक्वेशन एच माइनस वाई डैश डो एच अपॉन डो वाई डैश इक्वल टू सी दिस इज द फिफ्थ इक्वेशन टू इक्वेशन थ्री स्पेशल केसेस विल बी रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर टाइप होप यू अंडरस्टूड थैंक यू